Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're looking at this flow uh, development for our GCSE coursework and this is creating a flow chart. Now the reason to create a flow chart is to show planning and stages and to also um, just highlight and imply where quality control is. So we're just going to define quality control I said quality control means making checks throughout the making process to make sure that the end product has no faults or problems. And we're going to use flowcharts. So there's just a, a little um, paragraph here saying flowcharts describe in words the sequence of how my product will be made. Flowcharts also show control, arrows show direction, and it just explaining the boxes. So we've basically got a rectangle is, is, a, is a, sorry, a rectangle rounded corners is the start and the finish down here. So these are called terminals, and then you can see the start and the finish. We have processes, uh, sorry, we have processes, and then we have a diamond. So a rectangle is a process describing a process, and then a diamond um, is used for a decision. So we can see here, if we look at this example, this is for an occasional table. And this one's been completed, so we can see it actually comes down here, up here, down here, up here, down here, and down here. So it's actually one long flow chart, but we just draw this line up and start here again so that we, we follow this process. Here we've got the start. If we look at this example, it says start. It says get wood and board from the technology te technician after I'd given him my parts list. And then there's a, so that's a, um, that's just saying a process. And then we've got already got a decision here and it says check all wood sizes to make sure they are all correct. So if they're correct, we go on to the next st stage, which would be marking out legs using a tri-square and steel ruler. And if it and then on to the next thing and if any of the wood wasn't correct well of course you'd go back to the technician and he would or she would supply you with the correct parts so in doing that we are putting in in putting in these decisions we are putting in quality control checks because that is our first quality control check we're saying is the wood the right size is everything correct if it is yes we'll move on if it isn't we'll follow this path here go around and get the extra wood that we need or get replace any wood that we need. So then we go down here and we can see marking out the joints and it follows it up here and it says sand down all cross pieces, stretches and mortise joints. So there's obviously this, this student's created some joints. And then we're saying here the next um, check here or quality control check, check all joints fit together in a dry run without glue to make sure they fit. And if the joints fit, then glue them together and clamp until dry. If they don't fit, then what we're going to do is obviously go round and sand down and check the legs again. And basically, we've got this process loop here that you would, you would keep checking. And, and you might have done this three or four times, but it just indicates to the examiner at the points where you've, you've added quality control checks. It also overall shows planning. You could create this before you've made the product, but it's quite useful or it's quite easy to do it once you start making because you've kind of got ideas. Then you might add some extra um, processes and this might help you in your practical work to understand each lesson, what processes you carry out. It's quite useful to um, do this in conjunction with the Gantt chart because the Gantt chart is easy to uh, produce and just gives you your processes and then you can add in your decisions here, um, your decisions and your quality control checks. So there is um, development, product development, using a Gantt chart for your GCSE NEA coursework. Thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.